So this is a somewhat unusual case of superior mesenteric artery stenting. This patient has a fairly complex previous medical history, most of it not relevant, but she did multiple vascular interventions, and in this case presented with uh, ab intermittent severe abdominal pain. On the CAT scan here, you can see uh, the high-grade artificial stenosis of the severe mesenteric artery and a single branch which arose from that somewhat distal. That's going to be important uh, because it's a complication that arises uh, during the balloon angioplasty. Now let's join us as we film this in 360. And this environment allows you to actually look around the room uh, at the various different monitors and the various different personnel who are present. So there is a stenosis in there, so we need to think that. But well, we can actually drive around this room, and so we're looking to see the benefits of 360 filming in areas that we can actually highlight. You can see that after we gained access, there was a question off the CAT scan about a right uh, iliac artery stenosis. We opted to go ahead and angioplasty this and actually put a 10 millimeter VBX stent into this. So right groin access. Yeah. Angioplasty and stink grafting. We can listen in a little bit as we do the completion angiogram. Nice resolution of the stenosis. And we're going to opt to flare out the 10 millimeter VBX as it emerges up into the uh, bottom end basically of the aneurysm or the stink graft, the pre-existing stink graft I really should say. Now the nice thing about 360 is you can actually drive around this room it lets everybody see what the various different support mechanisms, whatever he's doing this is our tech, uh, this is our scrub nurse and this is the circulator so we can essentially acquire all the activities that are going on in this room uh, this is a hybrid room with a Siemens Pheno. And now we're actually advancing up. Uh, we're using a tour guide actually uh, to help us catheterize. We've got fused image, so the origin is all marked. And we're using a tour guide to actually help access this. Uh, we've crossed the lesion with a glide wire, and we've actually pre dilated the lesion. <laughs> And when we did the predilation, we've actually lost a large branch. The middle colic artery is now no longer filling. So we're going to show you basically how we manage that. And it's very important that any time you have an issue like this, that we do not uh, lose the wire, which is across uh, most likely a dissection that we have created. So let's look back basically above, above the field. So one of the nice things about this technology is we can virtually add in... Um, virtual screens to give you a better view of what's going on. So we'll set that at the top of the field. You can see the tour guide. What we're doing basically is now putting in a, uh, I believe it was an 8 millimeter VBX. This is the glide wire was exchanged for a Rosen wire, which is down the branches of the superior mesenteric artery. And now we've shot the arteriogram. And those screams of joy are because the middle colic, most likely the middle colic, is now filling. So we lost that major branch with predilation. And by re-establishing that true lumen uh, with the presence of a VBX, obviously we're not covering that side branch. You can see that that branch basically is now filling. So we're very happy to have uh, gotten out of this potential complication. And now we'll take the balloon used to inflate the VBX out. We typically replace this with a burn catheter, which allows a place it across the stent graft. We'll then extract the Rosen wire and disengage the, uh, in this case, tour guide really from, from the origin. Sometimes we replace the tour guide uh, with a six or eight millimeter sheath, depending on the size of the VBX, just to make sure, because uh, the VBX, they, the problem with tour guide is it does not track very well. It certainly can orient your wire, but doesn't necessarily hold position very well as you bring devices up. And that really completes the example of an iliac and severe mesenteric artery stenting. Thank you very much.